your presence makes them uncomfortable and they don't like it. They get triggered. They get intimidated in your presence. And the reason being is we've discussed in the past about light and dark. You being the conscious being, highly aware, having this pure light in you, which reflects everywhere you go. But I want to take it today even deeper than just talking about light and dark. There's more to this than just that. Why people get uncomfortable in your presence being the conscious one, being the light worker, being the highly aware being. Why does that make other people feel uncomfortable? When you have the light, you are actually exuding unconditional love. And there's nothing about that to be hated that should be embraced. But people who are unconscious, do you think they see that in you? You can be the brightest light. You can be the most amazing person. You could have the wings and it would be like surreal, but there will be people who will hate that. There will be people who would not see that. They cannot see the light. They cannot see and become aware of your purity, your unconditional love. You have to keep reminding them. You have to keep explaining yourself. You have to keep telling them, hey, I don't mean this. I don't mean that. No, I do love you. I do care for you. I didn't mean to hurt you. And you keep justifying or explaining their misunderstanding when they chose to misunderstand you. That was their decision. It's not that they don't see the light in you because they don't even know what that means. If you tell them that you are the light worker, if you tell them that you are highly conscious and you are highly aware, they'll be like, I don't know what you're saying. You're crazy. That's what they're going to say. Because it's not normal for them to understand these concepts. These concepts are spiritual and not everyone gets it. That's the issue. Even myself, I do not talk about this to my family a lot because this concept is very different and unique that they don't understand. And when people don't understand something, they judge that, they question that, they laugh about it. They're like, you are losing the plot because they don't get it. And when human beings don't get something, they dismiss it. They don't like it. They don't want to face it. They are not interested. So it is very difficult to explain that to somebody who is unaware. So if you go to somebody and say, hey, I'm a chosen one, they will be like, excuse me, you are narcissistic and you think you are a big deal and you are arrogant and you have an attitude problem. You know, you, there's all sorts of things will come up. They don't get it. They don't know what that means. So having that awareness about people and human being and most of the people are living unconsciously. They are not aware. So we don't go out and tell people, hey, look at me. I have the light. I am the light worker. I am the highly conscious being. Look at me. We don't do that and we should not do that. It's not the way to go about it. It's more about having that, embracing that light. And because we don't talk about it, people do not know how to handle this. And people don't even have that awareness, really. So when you meet somebody, they're not seeing your light. They are just saying, oh, I feel uncomfortable. They feel uncomfortable around you. So they feel like you have such a strong personality or aura or I feel intimidated. Those are the kind of words people use 
because they don't understand the light worker or the conscious or highly conscious being. They are not aware of those things. They don't know what that means. So have that understanding when people are feeling uncomfortable, intimidated or disliking or getting triggered by you in any way, then have that understanding. They don't know what they are being triggered by. They are not being triggered by you. They don't even know what is triggering them. They just see a human being being this confident and aware, not losing their mind and just having that strong presence and energy. They feel uncomfortable with that. And that may bring up certain insecurities and fears and doubts and trauma and pain that may come up on surface for them because of your presence. They don't know that consciously, but there might be certain triggers that happen in your presence, regardless of whether you do something or you don't do something. People will feel it but they would not be able to pinpoint what. And because they just see you and they feel all these emotions or things starts coming up, they feel like you are the problem. But it also happens on the other way around. You being around people who are extremely negative or toxic or have that kind of unhealed trauma in them, you might feel overwhelmed in their presence. You might feel drained. They take a lot of energy from you. And that happens if you do not have good spiritual practices, if you do not have good grounding practices, learning how to ground in your body, in your energy, and having that protection so that not other people can take that energy from you. So if you don't have good practices, you might be leaking your energy to people like that who are negative, who are unhealed, and they may grab into your energy. So that happens too. The reason why people get uncomfortable in your presence is because most human beings rather avoid pain than seek pleasure. That's how human beings are. As humans, we rather avoid facing the pain. That's why fear works so well in the media. You see, everything in the media is negative. Everything about someone is dying, something wrong is happening, something bad is going to happen. What it feeds is, it feeds fear. When fear is fed, people tend to avoid because fear sells. People avoid pain. They rather know that, okay, this is the alarming thing. This is going to happen. So let me hide. Let me go away. And we know from our past experiences in last few years how things have panned out. We know that with fear, people will avoid anything and everything, right? That's how, as human beings, we get controlled through fear. If someone with highly conscious, aware presence come into our environment, that will bring pain to surface. There will be triggers coming up that will bring up any kind of unhealed memories and past and irritation and anger. And that comes up because of the purity of this light. If you are embodying this light, then that would be reflected outside of you. And people who are avoiding pain, people who are unhealed, people who are negative or toxic, they will feel their pain is being highlighted in your presence. When that happens, people will avoid you. People will associate that pain with you, even though you were not the one who caused the pain, but because your presence highlights, triggers that pain that was already in them is the reason they will get uncomfortable. They will get triggered. They will feel exposed. They will feel like you are trying to make them look less than. And I've experienced that time and time again. If I don't even do anything, 
people feel that kind of feeling. And it's not because you need to do something or you need to change yourself. It's just you becoming aware why people are feeling uncomfortable, why they are getting triggered. Their pain body gets activated in your presence. And I love that term, which is pain body, because it is something Eckhart Tolle talks about. If you haven't heard Eckhart Tolle, then you should. His book, The Power of Now, is unbelievable. And he is a great spiritual teacher. So he talks about pain body a lot. And I resonate with that a lot because every human being has pain body. Certain people have very strong pain body because they've gone through so much trauma, so much pain that they have accumulated that in their body. So it gets triggered every time something associated with that comes up. Certain people have less strong pain body. So they may get triggered or frustrated or irritated. Something does trigger them, but maybe it's not as strong. Maybe it's not as frequent. Maybe it doesn't happen very often. But as human being, as we go through challenges, difficulties, we are building this pain body inside of us. If we don't do anything about it, if we don't heal it, if we don't release it, we are accumulating all that pain in our body. And like we do physical detox for physical health, that's how we have to think about emotional health. We have to do emotional detox. Heal those patterns, pain points, trauma, challenges, triggers to release all of that, to detox. It is extremely important that you become aware Instead of blaming people who get triggered or feel uncomfortable around you, you need to understand why do they get uncomfortable. I hope that makes sense. There's a lot of videos out there who start blaming and I've seen a lot of these chosen ones video which I see and they are very blaming. They are blaming the person that, oh, you are better than them and you are better. They are not good realize it's not about better or worse it's more about you have the awareness you have the consciousness you have the gift of this light being the conscious one you have the light other people do not have that gift they are unconscious they are living unconsciously they do not have the awareness so when you have embodied this awareness and embody this light you have to have greater responsibility because of this awareness, this consciousness. And yes, it's hard and it's challenging, but because God has gifted you with this awareness, this consciousness and this light that you are aware of, everybody has that light, but most people are unaware of. So because you have this awareness, you have the responsibility to understand why certain people get triggered and what you need to do to remain in your energy and seek people who are like-minded, people who do not get triggered, people who are healed so that you can have that great community of people who like you, but also be aware why most people will feel uncomfortable and get triggered by you. So I hope this video gives you good perspective of this light and why people get uncomfortable by your presence. So the last thing I want to mention is that I have free masterclass which talks about emotions and why you're suffering emotionally and this emotional pain, where does that stem from? I go into deeper understanding of emotions and how it all works. If you want to check it out, do check it out, that masterclass linked below in the description. Apart from that, like this video if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And this is the next video you should watch. And finally, may the light in me reaches the light in you.